Welcome back, ladies and gents, to part eight of my Greedfall walkthrough. Welcome back. Man, I haven't talked in a while for videos, but hey, who's counting? This guy over here. All right, I'm gonna, before we actually get started with this video, I need to give you guys a heads up, a recap, pretty much, of what I've been doing off screen. Um, I've been to, uh, saving some time trying to get the good ending. I think this is the way to do it. But I've been, what I've been doing is doing uh, my character quests. Or companion, excuse me, companion quest, kind of like Dragon Age Inquisition when I did the walkthrough of that back in 2014. Um, I've been doing character quests for all my for all my allies. Um, we already saw that I did want uh, Petrus, so uh, Soror, uh, Siora, and Kurt and Vasco. We don't have to worry about that. But I did it. But I did one off screen of the new uh, woman who joined our team Alphoria Alpia whatever her name is then I did um whatchamacallit uh quest what do you guys call it um relationship whatever we call it companion nation uh quest for the nonce I think I showed that one uh last video a couple of videos ago we already did one corn the corn guard uh theme well, merchants of uh, the congregation merchants were already nice. So, Bridge of Alliance, I think that one has gone past since they tried to kill that one lady. Uh, but the female one, I could just show, uh, tell you guys what happened. Uh, Ray quit the TLDR. Pretty much, we went to the swamp where we fought that one demon uh, next to the tree. We had to uh, first. Oh, first we went to this place called Eden to figure out these uh, the religion of the of this continent. And we met some pilgrims or whoever, religious folks slash doctor folks. We met this brother and sister. We did a couple quests for them. Gathered the stone tablets. We got on the good side of the of the of the um, islanders, Suarez people. Totally forgot their names. The natives. There we go. Um, then we got another mission from uh, for Theme is to go to the swamp, figure out what the hell is going on, find out the true religion or whatnot, the true past uh, Saint, Saint Matthias, which is what the theme, that's where they live, that's the person that they, um, what do you call it, believe in, and we found out that he, sorry, I'm doing a really bad TLDR of this, but we found out that he actually um, became, not became one with the natives, but you know, studied under them, and pretty much the theme, the San Mateus, the theme, the nation of theme, it's all like a lie, what they've been told and whatnot, so we had a choice to either reveal the truth to everyone in, in San Mateus, or hide the truth, and I decided to reveal it, and I got my, watch Macaulay up, my relationship status with them up to friendly status. Sorry, that's a really bad TLDR. Pretty much, I did all the relationship slash companion nations and companion quests for, uh, for my allies and whatnot. That that's that's the TLDR. This just to, just to keep get you guys caught up. Now we're mainlining the rest of the game. The reason why I did this is to save some time. Um, not that I'm rushing through this game, even though it try, seems like it. I'm really enjoying this game. I think it's not it's not bad, not amazing. I think it's actually I think it's actually really freaking good. I think it's a lot better than Spider's last game, Technomancer. Um the walkthrough of that back in 2016. You guys could check out or check that out on my channel right now. YouTube.com slash beta B A Y T U H. Um But yeah. Whoop. Seems like I'm going a little bit faster because I'm about to start another walkthrough here in a couple of days. Borderlands 3, I think on Friday, so it's going to be hard juggling two big, like, open world 30 plus hour games at once. I did that before, and it's not fun. I've lost many, many, many hours of sleep doing that, so yeah. So since we're done with that, the only other side quest I have left is show you guys right quick it's this research thing that we got in this the, the arena stuff which i'm not gonna do so we're just gonna be mainlining the, the rest of the game unless i can make one of these lovely ladies my wife fool i'm going for siora which i haven't gotten another quest from her yet i don't know what i did wrong do it hello my name is the 
I am the legate of the merchant congregation. May I enter? Good day, legate de Sarde. No, this building is closed to Renaixe. I am Siora, daughter of Vladne, daughter of Meb. My mother, the Mal of the Red Spears, was a member of the council. All here remember, and the Vorst Tirse. She was a courageous Mal, but you are not yet Mal in her stead. And you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. If I cannot enter, perhaps you could tell the Elder of the Council that I request an audience. Glendon cannot speak with you, Legate. Times are difficult, and his time is precious. He only accepts to meet the members of the Council or their representatives. How can I prove that I am the representative of one of them? If you are a trusted friend of a... I will then be glad. Here is the seal of the Denegad Katasach, of the village of Wenshavie. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. He must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. Oh, now welcome, huh? I give you warm greetings, Glendan. I am Desarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin, as well as many other people on our island, suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that only Enon Miel Frichtemann can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times, and you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial, the trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And this cavern is guarded, I suppose. That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face and return purified by the waters of the cavern. I must leave. Goodbye. You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. What more can I do for you? I was asked to pass the trial of water. What do you know about it? I have never passed it. Only those who must reveal their soul walk this path. The High Kings and Queens. It is a tremendous honor given to you, Renaixe. Do you have any advice to give me? I only know that the trial can be passed in many ways, and your choice will reveal the makings of your soul. One way is through strength, the other by ruse and heart. But I know no more than this. The trials are kept secret. Anything else? Nothing else, thank you. I need to leave. Good luck. And do not lose yourself in your own reflection. Alright, this ought to be interesting. Complete the trial of the waters. Where it's telling me to go back this way. What? I thought I just got something. 
Oh, Sior's cre qu uh, qu crest quest. Okay. Karanz, I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaigse better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Uh... Sure. Waifu comes first. Of course. Let's go. Sorry, ladies and gents, we're going to take a detour, even though I said we're just going to be mainline in this game. I, hey, I wait, I did say if if I get a, a, a mission from uh, one of these uh, Sior or someone, if I, uh, since I want to try to romance them. My child. What can we do for you? We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnit. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the Light was the only true path, even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Val Ristel. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the Light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. Okay, where's the stone at? Oh boy, it's a lot further than I thought. Wait, hold on. I did get her a new weapon. Does she have it equipped? No, huh, that's weird. There we go. Yippee yippee yip. Alright. And we're off. Off to see the wizard the wonderful wizard of odds. Uh, and this is not the right way. Huh. It's not even funny how bad I am at directions. I know I'm horrible at directions in video games. Unless it's like a linear game or even Jeez, I can't tell you how many times I got lost in Doom or in Wolfenstein. There we go. It's up there. Yeah, we're gonna find this stone. Then I'm gonna propose to Siora. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Why can't there just be a jump button in this game? If I had all the power in the world to shake up video games, I would say every game needs a pause button. Like, you can actually pause a pause screen. Nothing like the Soulsborne games do where you keep moving or the game where it keeps moving. It's not pause. It doesn't stop when you uh, press the pause button. Every game needs that. Every game needs a jump button as well and a dodge button if it's, if it's like an action game. I'm looking at you, Devil May Cry. Except for DMC, Devil May Cry, the best Devil May Cry game actually did it right. Hey, I'm serious. This is the 
degree the decree the degree debris no decree there we go okay i think we're getting somewhat close i had to go all the way up around uh where we found the one camp base thingy where we found her mom's dead body at we're up this way Who are these guys? Who do you think you are, buddy? Oh, yeah. All right. Stupid bandits. Not much further now. Thank you, Jesus. It's over there. Can we? Is there a way to get over there? Yep. Tool. Uh, Get thrown! Get dick squashed. I mean, get your, your, you know what? Yeah. Here's the stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karadik's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the keepers of promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise tell them to write and they take care of it all right I gotta go visit this Donegard person all right we're back in the village where is this dude at hmm. strange it looks like no one's there but the door's left open does this look open to you Empty. Everything is broken and turned upside down. A sculpted engraved stone. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. This workshop was purposely devastated. The owner must have left in a hurry, taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this. We must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? This engraved stone bears the mark of Beraeg Nodas. Don Cass's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Let's go to Vigigidor and we'll find out. That's a name. Vigigidor. Heed my door. He, all right, I'm gonna stop. Transition to the Higa door. Wherever Higa door. That was fast. Oh boy, this isn't the way up. Why is everything so confusing in these villages? Oh, it's just it was right in front of me. I'm an idiot. I know I'm an idiot. What brings you here on Omanawi? We're looking for Karadeg, 
the Keeper of Promises. Did he come back to your village? He did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He thought that we should be fighting them, throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaesrad. And I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something, and he wanted to hide. He must have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkers. Qua Awalum said. All right, woods south of here. I'm coming for you. You whatchamacallit. Nope, not the candy bar. Do they sell whatchamacallits anymore? I don't think so. Shut up. Try to help out my future girlfriend. It sound like freaking what's his face Kazuma for freaking uh, re zero. Hey, for some odd reason, I'm following the head over hills with Amelia, and we only met for like two seconds. Love at first sight. Oh, give me a break. That show is overrated, but really good. I speak the truth. Tell me the truth. I have not watched that Will Smith movie yet. What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free, and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the keepers of promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you're a kind of cleric? Hmm. Thank you, Karadek. Do you want to know anything else? We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaixe, isn't it? I should never have accepted to seal such a promise. I did not like them, but I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Bladnid was demanding it. And now that she is no longer with us, these... Monasinaiga are chasing me. It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Donegad. I do not mean to disrespect you. But I will not. The Rinaixe only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life, and because of them, I am forced to hide here. Why have you got to do intuition? Why not charisma? I have that up high. I understand your fear. Take some time to think. We'll come back later to see you. 
All right, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm probably gonna lose points with Siora and the natives, but hey, it's gonna be worth it. We would like to talk once more about. I told. In that case, maybe we should tell the priests about your hideout. How about that? Why would you do that? They would kill me. I cannot believe you would say that. This man's hatred of the settlers has made him blind. That he'd rather let his village fall into their hands than help us. He leaves me no choice. Take this damned bark and leave me alone. Leave! What do these glyphs say? That we will assist the priests in their war against the lions. And they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to his end. So, uh, I did the right thing. Because I don't have my intuition up high. So, uh, I freaking hate that when this game does that. I don't really have intuition at all. Or, right, well, a couple of videos ago, I respect my skill tree so I could freaking uh, do that one sneaky mission to the, into the, the native's village. Yeah, I think you get memory crystals through beating some of the mini bosses, but it's just like, come on now. I need my intuition to be at least two, but I'm like, well, is that what charisma should be? Why intuition? Why add another thing? Just puff on your chest, I'll be like, hey, bitch ass, just give it the tree bark. It's tree bark. Oh, Lord have mercy. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiselt, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? We went to Falristel to see the stone. Were you able to read it, Siora? No, because it was destroyed by someone. I am certain that the priests did it to protect their lies. You're probably right, but for as long as we cannot prove it... We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here, and even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us and insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But if you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the light. By lying, you have insulted the memory of the Queen. The entire village will be happy to make you pay for your affront if they hear about it. You do well to leave before having to face their wrath. We are not here to shed blood. Very well. We're leaving, but we will not forget your role in this matter, Your Excellency. <sighs> I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Anol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the Earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. Okay, hold on. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Whoop, wrong button. All right, now this is the moment I've been waiting for. I had to like, uh, wait a couple hours. 
in game, not in IRL, so I could talk to CR again about something. Arantz, could you help me once more? What is it? I must prepare the ritual for our mother's funeral, and I think that I will need your help. But your sister will be there. Surely you'd rather be together. For the ritual, yes, it will only be the two of us. But before that, your support would be a great help. Will you come with me? Of course. I'd be happy to be by your side. Let's go. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? I'm only here to accompany Siora. I came to give our mother back to the earth, Iseld. It is high time we did, I know. Performing the ritual might have me feel less empty. Iseld, I miss her too. Did you go to Vasrigan? No. Preparing the place is the role of the Donegada. I was afraid I would not do things properly. Go to the, the terminals with Siora. And where's that? Uh, uh, am I, is my ups right? Yep, my ups is right. Uh, God, Jesus, I need to go the other way. Yep, right over here. Forgot there's like two ways to get into the village. Verdrad. Now I'm certain, after this one, we shall continue to the main story. Complete the trial of the grasses. Nope, that's the witcher. Complete the trial of the water. Just imagine you had to do the trial of the grasses. I wonder how many people would actually survive that. Not many, I bet. We are approaching Vasrigan. This is where I will perform the ritual. This burial mound has been the final resting place of our queens for generations. It must be prepared before we can start the ritual. Okay. Did we like clear out all these animals? Owie. Cool. Cool. There's a giant tree in the back. Something's wrong. Normally, you would hear the birds singing in this place. What do you mean? You think intruders would risk coming here? This is not their natural habitat at all. They cannot leave them here. Combo! Combo! I'm coming. Double team. I do not understand what they are doing in this area. You never see any around here. They must have nested in the shadow of the burial mound. In that case, we have no choice but to destroy their nests. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming back. You are right. Oh, Jesus. I hate the interruptions you get. Granted, it probably help if I choose a better weapon. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh god, oh god. Finally famous. Finally famous. I'm finally famous. Cool. Yeah, I did that before in the last video. I remember it was like, you need alchemical something level two. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, come on now. Come on, son. Move. Move beside what the king is coming through. Key my words. Or I will punch you in the face. <laughs> Please move. I'm sorry, I'm, I got them belches. I need to buy some more, um, uh, whatchamacallit? Some more ammo. Oh, I used to have a lot. Yeah, I took a bullet to the knee. Trouble the peace of our queen. All we have to do now is to take care of the ceremony. Right, oh. Uh, let's see. I've been working on that, but I don't remember. Nah. Nah. No, I didn't. Weapons. Hmm. Thinking about that. See attributes. I should probably start working on accuracy. And for talents, should I go with vigor or intuition? Actually, I should probably work on craftsmanship. Is there anything else to prepare? Of course. We will need some sensors crafted especially for the ritual. Where can we find them? It would be ideal if we could craft them ourselves, but otherwise the village artisan probably sells them. And I will also need some mortuary lotion. I will have to coat my mother's body with it before giving her back to the earth. I will give you a list of all the ingredients because we will have to prepare it ourselves. The merchants won't sell it. Once we have gathered these last items, then Iseld and I will be able to perform the ritual. I thank you for being by my side and helping me the way you are. It... it means a lot to me. Don't mention it, Siora. I got the sensors because I bought them. Wait, is there a crafting table in here? Hey, all right. Well, we're gonna do a transition, ladies and gents, to uh, to when we have that lotion. I gotta go find a crafting table now. We have all that we need. 
Let's go back to the burial mound to put everything in place. Here we are. It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be, and another near her feet. And then you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in this ceremony. This is how our ritual of the dead is performed. Do you understand? There. Everything is in place. Thanks again, Onal Manawi. My sister should be joining me soon. You should wait outside. Oh. These rituals are demanding. But they help us to say goodbye to those we love. You have been a true friend. A Karantz, accepting to help me the way you did. Thank you. I will never forget the kindness you displayed. Conforming to our customs and staying by my side. It's only natural, Siora. I know what it feels like to lose someone who is dear to you. We should go now. It is time to return to the living. Yep. What I'm talking about, son. Karanz, do you need something? What do you intend to do now? Will you become the Dunaigad of your clan again? I will most likely do it, but not now. I still have a lot to discover by your side. I hope that you do not feel constrained to do so. I would completely understand if you had to go back to your people. You are a noble-hearted man. And a true Onol Manawi. Do not worry. I'm not staying because I feel constrained to do so, but because I like being with you all. And especially with you. Anything else? Yeah, yeah. I must leave you. See you later. Alright, now let's do this trial of water thingy. Transition. If I could, if I could you know, find my way out of this place. Oh boy. I am glad you came to talk to me. I have something to ask you. I'm listening. What do the women on your island do when they really like someone? Everything is so complicated where you come from. In my culture, we do not talk about our feelings, especially not amongst nobles. Marriages are arranged more often than not. <laughs> I knew it. Never mind. I'll do it my way. Your body and your soul are speaking with mine on Al Manawi. And if you feel the same way, I would love to spend some time alone with you. I would love that too. Meet me outside my room the next time we're at the house. I will be there. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Yo, let's freaking get it. Wait, house. Honor Manawi, do you still agree to spend some time with me? Of course. I was waiting for this moment. Come. I 
I have never met someone like you on Almanawi. My heart has never beaten so fast for anyone. What about you? Do you think you are my Mumundane? I hope so. Because I love you too, Siwa. Kayarto. This is how we say I love you in our language. Koden nes greda komolai. Our two hearts beat together. Yeah. Yeah, you better wait downstairs. Oh, none of y'all mother ever's heard anything too. Now I'm trying to do this trial of water. <laughs> that sex scene was freaking hilarious. Now it's funny as the one from what what is it called? Right to Hell Retribution. Uh, other motorcycle game like uh, uh, not Right to Hell. Wait, is it Right to Hell Retribution or something like that? It's a motorcycle game, kind of like Days Gone. Mine is a zombie apocalypse part. Let's see our status. Loving. Alright. Alright, she gave me some tips for the trials of water. She said not necessarily you have to do combat, but if a, the animal needs to eat, or a pet, or someone needs to eat, animal needs to eat, there are different ways to do it. Oh, that reminds me. Do I have... Ooh, ooh, I'm thinking, do I have sleeping potions? Because we could probably use sleeping, uh, we're gonna, I'll see where we get there. Oh my God, my heart, oh my God, my heart, ow. I did like an internal belch. God, my chest is killing me. Yeesh, all right. Siora, do you know anything about the trial that awaits us inside? My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little, but it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed, and there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Hmm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. I uh, have. Well, she pretty much explained it. But I don't know if I had sleeping potions. We'll see. I have to like, turn off the light. These beasts are feeding on that carcass. If only we could pour some sleeping potion on it. I do not have a sleeping potion on me. And we're back. Oh, I did a transition, ladies and gents, so I could go get some sleeping potions. Sleeping, we should be able to pass without a fight. I made sure to make a lot too, just in case. Those look like bats. I'm glad I upgrade my vigor. Level two. Hopefully I don't have to climb up something really high that requires level three. Look at the basin and the symbols around it. 
Given the Islanders taste for rituals and enigmas, I think you should touch the water. You were freezing and you had this empty stare. The water in the basin spoke to you, no? Yes. Exactly like the lightning struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. Visions like this are guides, a keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. And it was a cold feeling. I was high up and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then the sun warmed me. Suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it's supposed to evoke death. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Here this looks like a snowflake. The snow, or maybe ice. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. On this stone, the sun is visible. This stone bears the image of a storm. Or perhaps the wind. Alright, uh, we did this before. Um, and I totally forgot the order. Of course, you need Vigor 3. <clears throat> Can I speak to her to uh, get the order again? Once again, these visions open gates. Try to remember them. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind, and it was a cold feeling. I was high up, and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then the sun warmed me. Suddenly I bounced on the ground, and I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. Okay, so it's wind. If I mess this up, we know it's wind. Uh, let's read that, hear that again. Please repeat to us precisely what you saw. These images are part of the ritual, like they were when you touched the tree. I was in the sky, I was floating, carried by the wind. And it was a cold feeling. I was high up, and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then the sun warmed me. Suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. There we go. Did I do it? Uh, well, he's blocking the way. I guess that's the only way to go. I don't have level three vigor to pass by him. But once I did that, he like stopped having his hentai tentacles out. You friendly? Hey, big guy. God, Jesus, you ugly. All right. Um, yeah, way through behind you. Nope. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Wait, how do I have Vigor level 3? That's weird. Oh, let me see something. If my hypothesis is correct. That's why I didn't jump up. That's why. That's why. Because I'm friendly with Seora and she gives me if I'm if I get that my friendship uh bonus is vigor. Yep, yep. Bow in the presence of greatness. This must be the seal that Glendan spoke about. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi. And a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano. One of the faces of Enonia Frichtemann. And we did it! Hooray! And we did it! We did it! Something! Bam, bam, bum, 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 bum. Was it Dora the Explorer? Oh. Uh, yeah, was it? I have not watched the live action Dora the Explorer movie. Probably because I'm too old. Bear tear to mud on Ormanawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Enter. And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tirfredi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You sent the beasts into a deep sleep. That was very clever. Another before you did the same. In choosing the path of silence. You avoided confronting the Dosantats. Finally, you have completed the ritual. And in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path, but it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasach towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enor Mil Frichtemann now? To present him with my request? If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. Only a High King or High Queen is allowed to open the sanctuary. I warn you, your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince them as well. Where can I find them? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your path to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. Since then we have not heard from him. He was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I'm told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, Vlatnid, Ulan and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes, I heard about your loss, Siora. And the worst Tirse. Morning is a difficult time to pass. And the worst Tirse. Thank you, Glendon. Dedra is the mal of the clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village of Vedlug. I've already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the mal of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. It is said that he welcomes the Renaxe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadagais. Very well. I will go and see them. Try to find this High King. Thank you, Glendad. Kwa Walam said. I hope that you will find him.
Alrighty, ladies and gents, this is a perfect place to stop. Thank you all for watching this. If you guys could please leave a like on this video, guys, like what you saw. Please subscribe for more content. It helps with the channel a lot. Also, when you do subscribe, make sure you click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can start receiving notifications when I post videos. Uh, please share my channel and my videos to all your friends, family, cats, and dogs, and whoever who not. And you guys can all follow me on Twitter at beta b a y t u h. And I also have a Patreon page. If you guys could please. Please go over there, donate, start at the $2 tier, so I can keep Mexico shits nuts over here at this YouTube.com slash beta. That is Patreon.com slash beta, B-A-Y-T-U-H. Also, if you guys don't have a Patreon page or you don't want to use Patreon, but you have a PayPal account, I also have a PayPal account you can donate to. That is PayPal.me slash beta, B-A-Y-T-U-H, and I will see you guys later.